So cybersecurity, the, just the word cybersecurity, is it's got this it's got this sort of sex appeal to it. It's got this mysteriousness to it. Cybersecurity uh, in Washington is sort of transformed or, or revolutionized the image of the sort of computer nerd and techie. Uh, it's made them a little bit more eligible. Say, you know, if you want to date, you should you should become a cybersecurity expert. Do you think that it, it is it has done that? Um, well, uh, given that I can't figure out how lucky uh, I've I've been to uh, meet my my current girlfriend, okay. I must it must be because <laughs> I'm a cybersecurity person. It's probably person. nothing to do with your personality. Uh, uh, no, it couldn't. It's my personality is a deterrent <laughs> most often. But I I do think that the. Uh, sort of post 9-11 securitization of that discourse in Washington around public policy. Um, that was very much the case. Uh, after uh, more became known about cybersecurity uh, from researchers providing you know, stories, from journalists providing accounts of different kinds of cyber attacks, yeah. uh, Estonia in 07, uh, reporting uh, done by David Sanger about some activities in Iran, uh, it did become a, a field of security policy. Right. When we think about innovation, we tend to think of security as a dependent variable. I want to increase convenience, what does that do to security? As opposed to, I need security. What does that do to cost? What does that do to convenience? What does that do to schedule? We think about it in the former way. Now, sadly, mm -hmm. we're still at that point of saying, let's just push the the new product, the new upgrade out there. Now, I'm, I'm generalizing this. I'm not trying to say that all companies all the time don't think about security. More and more of them do more and more often yeah. think about security. The trajectory is better than it was. However, you can also imagine and empathize with the pressure yeah. that startups are under yeah. to bring new products to market. And the security testing takes time, takes resources, and it's hard to discern clear return on investment in the short term. So the worry becomes with the Internet of Things, we all start connecting everything in our houses. Right. But they become the easiest attack vectors. Right. Because although we've done two-factor authentication now on our phones, we're trying to do encrypted emails for yeah. our desktops, we now introduce devices that are the easy way into the castle. If you're worried about somebody hacking into your yeah. Gmail, say for instance, like are there are there easy steps that, that, that you take to protect yourself? For me, you know, two-factor authentication is something that is uh, often free yeah. and does not solve everything, but makes life a lot harder for a crook or a thief. So authentication, what is authentication? Everybody talking about encryption, this is authentication. Authenticate, how do I know you are you. Mm. The most popular method of authentication is the password. Something you know. You sign up for the account, you create a password, you type the password again. Okay, that is how the system authenticates you are you. Now, unfortunately, social security numbers are still used as an authentication uh, tool. Not, not great. Yeah. We've got to move away from, from doing that. But in addition to authentication by something you know, a password, there's something you have or something you are. So something you are, a fingerprint, oh. retinal scan. The new iPhone oh, has right. a fingerprint right, to open up the display, unlock screen. So the technology is there. Yeah. Uh, if people want to enable these things or not, completely up to them. Another you know, factor of authentication is the something you have. So with Gmail, you can set up, and Facebook, other services offer this, not just Gmail. You can set up a system where if you're logging in from a new phone or a new computer, you're at the Apple store and you want to check your email, the system says, I got your password, but this is, this is different. You've not logged in here before. Right. You have to, we're now going to send you a text message. And there's going to be a, a code in that text message. You have to type that in. Type that in quickly, and you can only type this in once. And this will verify for us that you really are you. Because the likelihood that someone walked off with your password and your phone, that is less likely. Not not impossible, but less likely. So that's one common way, marrying your password with another form of authentication for information that you deem critical.